Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are nice and up close and personal in this video because I am going to be doing a review for you on the Aldi makeup. So Aldi makeup is not something that I've really looked at before. I have tried certain bits of their skincare, but it seems to be trending on TikTok at the minute because they have seemed to have duped some higher end luxury brands. So I thought I'll go to my Aldi and I'll buy in some of their stuff and we'll try it out. Now, I'll be we don't have a full face of makeup here because they didn't have things like um, bronzer or any blusher or anything like that so but we do have a foundation um, lips mascara a eyeshadow palette and I do have their primer which I had before so I'm just gonna apply my makeup as I usually would as if I'm incorporating these into my usual makeup routine because it's very rare that I would use the same brand for a full face of makeup anyway but um yeah let's get cracking because I'm excited to try these out and see what they and see what they're like okay so starting with priming my face this is the product that I I have had for a little while and I do actually really like it so it's supposed to be a dupe for the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base which is retailed at £48.50 but we can pick this up from Aldi for just £5.99 so so an absolute fraction of the price I have smelt the Bobbi Brown one and this smells pretty much exactly the same it's got like a cross between it's like a cross between like a banana and lemony smell but I really really like the smell of this you know as I said before I have used this before so I know that I like it but I just I just really like like the consistency of it and I find that it really helps with having a smooth application process to my foundation so I like to make sure that I start my makeup routine after I've done my skincare with this product so I guess this one is not necessarily a first reaction as such but uh, because I have used it before but I know I know that I like it so yeah it leaves my skin if I rub it in properly nice and glowy and nice and kind of fresh looking so I really like that about it so I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of minutes to sit before going in with the foundation so whilst we're waiting for that to kind of soak into my skin I'm gonna talk about the foundation that we're gonna use so when I saw this I thought how can Aldi get away with literally copying pretty much and just sticking their own label on it um, but I saw this and I knew instantly what it was supposed to be a dupe of it's, it's supposed to be a dupe of the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation which retails at £44.50 but I bought this one for £5.99 so the only difference that I would say in the buying process is that they don't have obviously the um testers that you can try and make sure that it is your skin color so and there wasn't actually that many left in stock so I picked up one which I thought might be similar um so this is in the shade four to be honest, there was only this shade or like a shade that was way too dark for me. So I picked up the shade four in the hope that it's gonna be my shade, but that is kind of the difference between buying it from Aldi. If you know your shade, then great. But if you don't know your shade, then maybe just go and get a tester, um, but for 5 dollars So I'm just gonna pump some onto my hand. And I'm just gonna be using my Cocoa Cosmetics by Chloe Marshmallow Sponge to blend it into my skin oh <laughs> i would say this is maybe a little bit dark for me it's very yellow toned i think foundation i find is never like a is never a perfect match for me i usually have to like blend things with concealer bronzer powder to try and make it look a little bit better so pop this on this looks really well done camera, but I don't actually have a mirror, so I'm not 100% sure what this looks like in person. Hopefully it looks a bit better. Just blending it down. Okay, this this is probably, definitely, a shade too dark for me. But they didn't have any other ones in, so we're just going to have to make it work. Buffing it in, as I usually would with any makeup, um, with any foundation, I try to go down onto my neck so that I don't have that neckline, but to be honest, I don't think that makes much of, a much of a difference when you have a completely different shade to what you should be. But, like I say, we will make it work. Just keep blending, just keep blending. In general though, I wouldn't say that the colour of it is Aldi's fault because I've just picked up the wrong colour. 
I mean, not that they had another colour available. Interesting though how different the shade looks in comparison to my skin as well, because I did notice that the shade that the bottle looks like also looks very different to the shade on the top, which I was kind of like, what shade am I getting then? Kind of got something in between. I'm gonna pop some concealer and my bronzer and blusher on and set my face, see if that makes a difference. This is all just using different products that um, I have because I didn't pick any up from Aldi. And I'll come back ready to try the rest of the product. Okay, I've put the rest of my face on. I'm not, I haven't done any powder yet because I thought I would just quickly show you kind of the texture of the foundation, which I quite like. Um, I don't find it patchy. I don't find it, it's actually a better colour match in the mirror than it is in the camera. I think there's something to do with my lighting, um, having a slight orange tone to it. But, but yeah, so the foundation itself is actually really nice. It's got a nice coverage to it and yeah, I'm rating this. I, I like it. It's a case of whether it lasts. That's the question. Um, but I've done my bronzer and some blush. I haven't set my face yet though. Okay, so base of makeup done. So far, I am quite impressed. I like the primer and I actually like the foundation. I think it's given me good coverage and yeah, it makes my skin nice and glowy. So the next product that I'm gonna be talking about is the Girl Gone Bad Mascara. This is supposed to be a dupe of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. You'll see in a minute how similar they look when I take, take out the packaging. So the Benefit Mascara retails at £19.97, but I picked this one up for £5.99. So again, a really nice, low, cheap price. And this is what it looks like. So you can tell how similar it is to the, the higher end brand. I do quite like how the spoolie looks. I'm not, I personally don't have very long eyelashes. So I feel like me doing a mascara review is probably not the best thing because I don't have much in terms of eyelashes to start with, but we will try. Okay, so these are my lashes with just a little bit of, um, eyelash dye I put some on last night it didn't it didn't go very well but these are my eyelashes and they're not they're not very thick but they're okay so I'm going to try with the mascara and see how we do okay hey I think I think I might quite like this can I give it a good coat I'm not curling my lashes just because I don't I don't usually curl them unless like I'm going somewhere, but I feel like this mascara is giving it, apart from when I get it on my eyelid. If we look at the difference, yeah, I quite like that. I think for a cheaper dupe, they've done well on this one. Wow, okay. I feel like Aldi have absolutely smashed this one. I'm really impressed with that. Let me get some on the bottom someone with blonde non-existent lashes this is a big big improvement I am gonna go ahead and say that I definitely definitely rate this mascara the next products that I'm gonna be testing out are actually the lip combination so this is supposed to be a dupe of the um, of the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk collection these are in the perfect nude shade you've got a lip liner a lipstick and a lip gloss which I'll all be trying out so just to break the, pr the price down a little bit so the Charlotte Tilbury the lipstick would usually cost 26 pounds whereas from Aldi it cost me £2.99. All of these individual pieces cost me £2.99 each, whereas at Charlotte Tilbury the lipstick would cost me £26, the liner would cost me £19, and the lip gloss would cost me would also cost me £19. So for two, four, six, for under £10, you can get the full trio. To be fair, for £2.99, you can't really expect much anyway, but so far, I've been really impressed with the um, with the quality in comparison to the price tag, so once I can get this open, I'm struggling. In terms of the packaging, you can see that Aldi have definitely gone to, have definitely tried to do something very similar. However, they've gone with a more kind of I almost want to say like a rosy silver colour because it's, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's not quite silver. They've gone for a very similar style of packaging. Charlotte Tilbury usually goes for like, for a gold colour, whereas Aldi has gone for silver. So let's try the lip liner to start with. That was not a good start. I've just opened it and it's just broken. <laughs> Let me grab a sharpener so I can fix this. Okay, so we've got the liner back. <laughs> These are my lips with nothing on and I'm just gonna line as I usually would. 
colour wise it is very similar I do slightly slightly overline my lips okay that's the liner on it does taste it is a little bit sticky not gonna lie it is a little bit on the stickier side but not un, not unbearable so that is the lip liner on on its own now let's try out the lipstick so that is what the lipstick looks like again it's a nice kind of pinky nude Ooh. I like how creamy this is I like how I actually really like how soft this feels on your lips um I just I want to just go like that all the time <laughs> does have a bit of a weird smell to it though it smells almost like chocolate <laughs> again in terms of it lasting though I'm not 100% sure on how well it would last but I guess if you were going to take out your lipstick with you then it doesn't really matter um but lip gloss is last just to top off the trio oh okay i like how the lip gloss looks don't get me wrong i feel like it is a good dupe it smells like i feel like it smells and feels like the like a lip plumping gloss but i don't think this is a lip plumping gloss um and it's almost got a little bit of a grainy texture to it when you put it on i don't know if i like it I'm not gonna lie I don't I mean I don't mind at all the way it looks could just kind of ruins how much I liked the lipstick because I, I quite enjoyed the lipstick but like I say it is a bit of a grainy a grainy feel to it the look of it yeah I quite like the look of it mm, it depends on what you're what you're after so look of it yes very nice but I feel like you can probably get a, a, a another cheaper alternative which will probably not be a bit grainy it's really odd because i feel like it's got something in it that's like grainy and i can't work out what it is unless it's parts of the brush coming off i don't know i don't know yeah let me know if you have used the aldi makeup what you think of it i personally am so far enjoying the foundation i do enjoy the lip combination apart from the lip gloss the mascara chef's kiss primer love that and yeah Aldi keep doing what you're doing because if there's a way to save money especially on makeup and skincare then I am for it so yeah let me know if you've enjoyed this video or if you've tried any of the products and what you think I hope that you have enjoyed it if you have then please give it a thumbs up go hit the subscribe button all that good stuff and I will see you in my next video bye guys